Greetings people, what is going on? It is Davidian here with another Pirates, Vikings and Knights class spotlight. Today we are going to be looking at one of my favourite classes of all time. He is the slyest class of the whole game simply because of his run speed. So what class are you talking about? You may be thinking. To which I respond with, the Pirate Skirmisher of course. As I said before, the Skirmisher has a very fast run speed, to the extent he is the quickest class of the game. Which means if you find yourself being chased, you can simply run away Usain Bolt style, and they won't be able to catch you unless the players flank you. Now a downside to this, for balance reasons of course, is that the Skirmisher is pretty squishy and thus easy to kill if not played correctly. Taking a look at the skirmisher's weapons, and we will see that he has a one-handed cutlass, which is classed as a medium weapon. This means he will not be able to perfect parry large weapons from the Huskull, Berserker and the Heavy Knight, but having a fast swing and charge time will make it easier for him to break through blocks and shields. The cutlass is the special attack binded weapon, which when used will make you lunge towards your enemy, hitting them up to 5 times if you aim the special head on which is ideal for pushing people out of the way if you get cornered or for pushing people into things such as lavas, traps or off cliffs. If you find yourself not wanting to engage in close combat, you can always use the flintlock pistol. This pistol isn't as accurate as the sharpshooters, but is still very useful. Using this against players who have no armour can be a winning recipe. Try to focus your pistol shots on archers, simply because they are the only class who you fight against that are equally as squishy as you. The pistol has 6 shots, but can store another 6 bullets depending if the map has ammo pickups on. For crowd control, you couldn't have picked a better class. The skirmisher has a powder keg which can turn a mosh pit of flailing spears, swords and axes into dust and leave nothing but the sound of ocean waves crashing against rocks. It has a blast radius which is a couple of steps away from being a nuke and will strike fear into the hearts of other players. Sounds blissful, no? Unfortunately there is a downside to using the powder keg. When the powder keg is out and at the ready, your movement speed will decrease significantly making you easier to hit. Igniting the powder keg takes a couple of seconds also so try to light it in a safe area. Timing is vital to get desired results, although that bit of hope can be snatched away from you instantly if another player lands a hit on the keg, causing you to prematurely explode. If you know what I mean, wink wink. The skirmisher is a perfect class for playing offensively, defensively, or a bit of both. Ideally, you should be working as a team and guarding your captain or sharpshooter, However, if you do want to stray off from the group, you can always run behind an enemy, get a few hacking slashes here and there, and just simply run away, which is perfect for special filling. Being outnumbered will be easier to worm your way out compared to other classes. People tend to also powder keg archers, as they are weak and don't have shields to protect themselves from the explosion. Landing a good keg will be like hitting the jackpot, but on the downside, you will need to get close to do this, but with an arrow and a crossbow bolt later, can result in you being D-E-A-D, -E brown bread, simply red. I'm Davidian, and this is The Skirmisher. Please check out my previous Pirates, Vikings and Knights videos, and don't forget to rate and subscribe. Until next time.